This beautiful structure is called a candy bentar. It's a traditional Balinese gate. It signifies welcome, and it's also there to ward off evil spirits or close on anybody with less than a pure heart. Ha, I got in. I have a pure heart. <laughs> At least that's what my mom tells me. Sadua Beach Hotel and Spa is the oldest and the newest five-star diamond resort in the Nusa Dua area in Bali. How is that possible? Well, it was the first resort built here in 1983, five stars, and it was the last to be renovated. Everywhere you look in the grounds and in your room, you'll find traditional Balinese architecture. It's meant to take you back to a time when kings and queens actually lived here on the island of Bali. And they promise you that while you're staying here, you will be treated like royalty. So, I have decided to book myself a traditional Balinese facial and a traditional Balinese massage. Queen for my stay. <laughs> Queen Bridget. Ooh, I like the sounds of that. Bali is often considered the best combination of Indonesia's culture. Nusa Dua Beach Hotel and Spa is a perfect example of this blend. In 1982, they opened their doors to a world-class resort that combines traditional Balinese architecture along with Indonesian artwork. Right on the property is the choice of nine restaurants, all of which are my favorite. The pool is located only meters from the ocean and uses the latest technology for chlorine-free water. There are 380 guest rooms and suites, each decorated in traditional Balinese style. The Hindus believe that dragons represent eternity because there's no beginning and no end. It just keeps going in a circle. While you're here at the Nusa Dua Hotel, you will find 95 dragon heads like this fountain here. They're meant to protect you during your stay. The freestanding spa is a tribute to the island of Bali and its ancient beauty techniques. The spa does not follow the Western approach to treatments. Rather, it's more traditional and uses timeless ingredients indigenous to the island. The lush gardens and flowing water add to the memorable experience of an Indonesian spa. Bali is known to scuba divers around the world for its great waters. And although the water close to the hotel is spectacular, it's not diving water. The Nusa Dua Hotel is located on the southern tip of the island, actually out on a peninsula, and thus the currents can be quite strong. But for a lot of travelers, this water is perfectly okay for their tastes. Wow, this is such a pretty room. This room is used for traditional Javanese lure lure. That is a full body scrub that women from Indonesia would get before they get married. I am not going to get a lure lure because I'm not getting married. So instead, I am going to get a Balinese facial. And a Balinese facial uses all natural ingredients. Mm. This is cleansing milk. Yeah. Cleansing milk? Yes. To clean the skin. <laughs> Good. The body and skin preparations are based on a secret blend of essential oils, flowers, spice, and plants. Mm. Cleansing milk. Yeah. The cleansing milk smells like this flower. And if you knew what this flower smelled like, you would know. All recipes applied to the skin are completely natural, having been researched under the personal care of international consultants hired by the spa. Can you hear that? There's like birds, lots of birds, and other things, because if you're hearing those noises, it's because we're actually outside. 
And this is scrub. The scrub acts as an exfoliant and is made from indigenous fruits and plants from the islands. You feel like a sand, this? Yeah, a little uh -huh. sand, uh -huh. yeah. But it's not scam. Mm -hmm. It's yogurt. Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm, yummy. The yogurt is used to soften up the outer layer of skin, a great remedy after a day in the Bali sun. I'm a smoothie. Yes, I'm smooth. <laughs> it's amazing what you can mm. find in the kitchen that's actually beneficial for your skin. Something to think about the next time you open up your fridge. Did you know that when you're getting a facial, you're not supposed to touch your face after because the um, grit and dirt and maybe germs that you have on your hands will be transferred to the pores on your face. And that can lead to a, an outbreak. Not like an epidemic, I mean like pimples on your face. Ah. Now I'm going to apply the carrot mask. This okay. is just carrot? Yes. Oh, fresh carrot. Ground mm -hmm. carrot? Yes, the mixture. And then this is uh, good for uh, vitamin A for the skin face and normally for all skin. Mm. <laughs> it's really calming. It's very mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Hmm. I get to eat and have a massage all at the same time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Am I orange? You're orange. <laughs> Is my <smell>, hey? <laughs> yeah, the last, and I give you moisturizing. Okay. Beautiful.